I just wanted to say as well, I love when a Batman origin story incorporates all of this. Because even if it's absolutely ridiculous and far-fetched, it's crazy. I like that more because it feeds into the idea that Bruce is kind of um, not in the best of mental health. Mm. I, think... I like that. He's very troubled, very uh, tra- trauma. Is that mm. term? Full of trauma. It's kind of <laughs> weird, though, because now we're at a point with Batman movie saturation where they kind of did it perfectly with this first run through of movies where, like, mm-hmm. first time they don't have to tell you, like, ex- why he's dressing up as a bat, like... You can go. You can come in. He's already Batman, and then you have one scene in the middle of the movie where he has like a very forlorn flashback to his parents' death, and you can deduce like, oh, that's why he's doing what he's doing. You can go Batman Returns. Never has to mention it. We we know why he's Batman, and then this movie you can go like, well, here's exactly why he's got the bat motif and stuff, and you can spread it out over the the films and whatnot. Yeah. Then you get to like, all right, so Nolan takes over. He tells you right up front everything again, and then after that you're like, okay, so we know. And then you had like Gotham started in the meantime, and there were all the promos of the Waynes getting killed, and you're like, yeah. And then friggin' Dawn of Justice came out, and like, the opening scene is like, is that, is that the Waynes walking outside that goddamn theater again? <laughs> Not again. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> but I guess they did that because if this was your first Batman movie, they need to give you some kind of context. Like, there that were probably true, a man. lot of kids that summer that had never seen a Batman, and then were like yeah. asking all these questions. Yeah, but at mm. some point you have to just assume that people know who Batman is. Yeah, yeah. Or, you, or again, like just like the first movie, you can just have, um, or even like to do with the like a Mask of the Phantasm. They never, well, they do actually. They have like him talking at his parents' grave and stuff, so you know you can deduce what's happened here yeah. and whatnot. And then, but the thing is, if, even if you have movies to explain it, I, I remember. When you know when the Dark Knight came out, because that was a much more successful film than Batman Begins, and I had friends who went to see it who had never seen Batman Begins, and afterwards they were like, "They don't tell you why he's Batman, though. Like, what's like they didn't really know the character, so they're like, they never explain why he's doing what he's doing." I was like, "There was a whole movie yeah. about why he's doing what he's doing." <laughs> so I guess it just doesn't matter. It's like, oh yeah, you you're still always gonna get somebody who comes in and is like, "What? Well, what? What's happening here? Why? Why? Why does he do? Why does? Why? Why he be Batman?" <laughs> I forget what movie series it was. It must have been some trilogy, but I don't remember. This friend of mine hadn't seen the first one, but went to see the second one. Oh, it was Lord of the Rings. We went to see the oh Two Towers. God. Our friend Steph hadn't seen Lord of the Rings, and she came to see Two Towers with us. And I'm like, "You cannot ask me any questions." Because the whole time I'm like, "Who's that? <laughs> who's that guy? What's the what's the deal with the ring? What's going like, on?" What's... Oh my god, that'd be so oh, confusing. Gosh. And then and then she went and watched the first one. She was like, "Oh, this makes sense now." <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, <laughs> girl, it's like I went when I was watching uh, Endgame in the in the cinema. There was a, a guy and his kid. And I, the kid was, I would estimate, 8 to 10. So you think, well, they've probably seen some of these movies. But all I could hear the whole time, like just in the corner, was him going, Daddy, who's that? <laughs> <laughs> that's, and it won't be like a bit part character. His dad will be like, that's Captain America. Yeah. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, Jesus Christ, why have you brought him to the very He grew that beard. Maybe didn't recognize him. <laughs> Ugh, I... I, I I'd get up and leave. Like, mm. I wouldn't be able to sit through that. <laughs> you imagine, it though, was, like, if, uh, infuriates. if they had to do, though, like, um, you know, in Secret of the Ooze, they had to go over, I guess they do go over again in Secret of the Ooze. Yeah. Like, oh, so this is what, this no. is what the, this is how the turtles are. Yeah, they kind of fast forward through it. Yeah, but it'd just be like every single movie with a Captain America is like, okay, so Steve Rogers was this really wimpy guy. And then, <laughs> so he got the super soldiers in him. <laughs> Well, I'm just I'm just glad when they rebooted Spider Man for the third time that we didn't have to watch Uncle Ben die again. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I do appreciate it though when they when they get to a point and just accept you know who this character is. You know Spider Man. Yeah. You know Batman. It, I don't need the origin. Just put Batman mm. in a new situation. I get it. Yeah. 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 So even have like yeah in the first movie that has the he just says like I can't do that to Aunt May not after everything that's happened and you know. Oh, he's alluding yeah. to the, de- the death of Uncle Ben. Yeah. And then there's like one scene with Ned where he's like, oh, you're Spider-Man. How did that happen? I got bit by a spider. Oh, can you do this and that? No. <laughs> can I get bit by the spider? The spider's dead, Ned. And that was just it. Like, there you go. That's all you need. That's all we needed. I will say one of my favorite things about seeing a Marvel movie, and there, it's always happens. It's that couple 
where the guy is really into it, but the girlfriend's like kind of into it. And he has to give her like a quick crash course yeah. about yeah. everything that has happened. And she's just like, uh huh. What? <laughs> <laughs> she's my favorite. <laughs> it's brilliant. 